Hi, it's me again, and here I am promising you a video of how to how I tamed my bird or cockatiel. I haven't whatever. I'll put bird because I think any bird can be trained this way, unless it's like a little separate case. But um, <clears throat> here we go. Okay, so here's what exactly what I did. For about an hour, I talked to him through the cage and I sang to him and whatnot. Then after that, like an hour or two hours later, I came over. Oh, sorry. I came over and I put my hand at the bottom. As you can see, he's just sitting there because he's kind of angry that I put him right back in the cage again. He was out in this play pond, in this playground. Um, so what I did is I put my hand at the bottom and I left it there for 15 minutes. I took it out after those 15 minutes. Next hour, I put it right back in put it in for about 10 minutes and then I started doing this I started going slowly not like this but slowly and then after that I saw hey okay he likes my movement and I started doing like circles and I started doing this and then I eventually I was going like this and he was about this close to me he was, he was about this close to him or whatever and then after that I took my hand out and then um, I s just like randomly I just started like pushing him up until he actually got on and then I put him right back down and I had his food dish near him so that it would be like a reward for him and um, you know what it seemed to work because every time I would like finish he would go and eat I would be like good boy and whatnot um, you always have to have, like, a positive attitude when you say, good boy, like, you know, um, and then, yeah, so that's basically what I did, the first step, and then I left him alone, and my mom's like, why don't you bring him to the living room so that you can work with him, so I was like, okay, so I brought him to the living room, I set him on the floor, and I sat in front of his cage, kind of like what I'm doing now, but on the floor, I'm on my bed, um, and, um, Pretty much what I did. Did he mill it? No. Um, pretty much what I did is I got a stick and like I started like pushing him up against his tummy and he would get on and then I put him down. But this stick I won't use on him because I know he eat it, so I won't use that. Oh, that works. That works for him. Um, what is that, mom? Um, and then um, my mom's like, start trying to use your hand because like a stick is not your hand and he has to get used to your hand so I just started going up and then I got him up and then I put him right back down or he would jump off then I do it again and I would you know do it over and over again until he actually stayed and then from there my mom was like okay put him on your finger bring him right back like up to let me show you I put, I put him on your finger bring him out a little bit and then put him right back down put him right back down and I did that for a good hour and then um, I did that and I practiced little by little trying to get him on my finger for the rest of the day it was about five in the afternoon so I was working with him for about two three hours because about eight o'clock I, I put him to bed um, or I brought him back to my room next day I brought him back and wait did I bring him back no the next day I had him in my room and I was just working with him and um suddenly I got the urge to like bring him all the way out and um he did really good and I was like good boy and then I was talking to him slowly and all of a sudden I stand up I stand up with the bird on my finger and I walk around my room that bird did amazing <laughs> I even took him to the living room. I was showing him off in the kitchen. I was showing him off to my brother who was in his room in his room next door. And he did amazing. And it's like in total it was like let's say five, six, seven, eight. Like let's say five hours. It was a total of five hours that this bird learned. And um that's pretty much it like and, and like I told you he always had his food next to him and I always like gave him make sure to like give him back his food or let have him like eat like he's doing now like he's eating right now 
so and, and then that was pretty much all I did um, not much work put into it like my first bird my first mouse he was hard work like he he took a while and he wasn't gonna com be completely tamed till his foot was fixed and sadly I couldn't like help him so uh, I'm, I'm hoping to go to the swap meet or the store pet store whatever and see how he's doing or if what happened to him and find out what happened and whatnot so yeah um it wasn't an outdoor swap meet just so you know um it was like an indoor where there's like ac blah 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 it's a good place nice place um except for the people that go there but um that's basically it like I didn't do anything other than all that that I just told you um, and then I, like after a few days I did put food in my hand and I fed him in my hand and he got even more used to my hand so every time he sees my hand it's like oh let's go party like that's what he thinks of my hand he thinks of my hand is a good thing so yeah and then like uh, like today no last this Friday that just passed it was a week that he's been with me just a week so it didn't take that long. He's been here for a week and two days now. Um, so yeah. Um, and then like he, like this weekend, he started going on my shoulder. He climbs all the way to your shoulder like he did this morning. And I was trying to well when I first started started trying to record this video, like he jumped on me and started crawling up and up and up 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 until he landed up here. And then when I'm on the computer, he's on my shoulder or on the computer screen. But I took him off the computer screen because he was trying to eat my pictures. So, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, he's, pr I'll say, like 95% tame. 95% tame. He's not completely tame because he still gets has his moments. But um, eventually, I'll declare him 100% tame or 99.9% tame, whichever one. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it gave you some information. And of course, always, always, always look for new other videos that fit your, your, you know, the way you are, your personality, like what your need, your bird's needs are. Like this, this, this training method or taming method is not for every bird. Like, like, like I, I don't remember if I said or not, but he was home he came ready like he was raring to go like he was active and he was eating and he was drinking water and like he was just ready to go and he is like four months old so i guess that kind of contributed it. but then i think about it and my friend laura's bird is the same age and he's terrified of hands and he was hand fed so this bird being probably parent raised is like like tame so He's like trying to look for his way out. Alright, I'm taking him out. Ugh, he wants to come out. Good boy. So, I mean, yeah, like, don't poop, please. Um, so, yeah, it's like pretty much it. Like, and he, like, loves me now, and he's, like, playing with everything he finds. And, yeah, he wants to play with that now. Um, as you can see, I put little, little toys in there. I made him toys yesterday. And, you know, he's, he's, he's just a pal now. He even had his first road trip yesterday in the car. And he was sitting on my shoulder the whole time. And I, I even took him outside, and he didn't fly away. It's like, he, he's just amazing. I love this bird. It's like my first tame, my first time taming a bird. Um, I have had a bird sit on me before. A cockatiel, in fact. But, um, he sadly died of unknown causes, so. But, yeah. This is my first uh, hand-tamed bird that I tamed myself. So yeah, but but like I said, go ahead and research new videos. There's a plenty of ways, different ways to tame a bird. My method kind of came from a YouTube user named um, Enigma the Mystery, and um, this is pretty much her technique in in a sense. The whole getting your, the bird on your finger, and her bird is an Avery bird. It's a parakeet, but she's proven to work. So yeah. So with that, I'll leave you guys be, and Mouse and I will see you another day. So yeah. Bye guys. You want to say bye, Mouse?
chirps. No, he's too busy trying to get the string. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.